Okay, what we're going to have a quick look at here is a little bit of spoofing. Um, this is Euro stocks. This was the early move down, and at this point, so I've drawn the profile up until the reversal type move. At this point, we were looking reasonably good for a trend. Drop lower, value continued to fall lower, start to consolidate down at the lows. This all looks good for a move down. What then starts to happen, and liquidity's dropped in the stocks recently, is you start getting this spoofing price action. You start getting a lot of size, one side, then the other, and the market trading based on the size of the orders that are coming in. So what we can see here, and I'll start playing this, what we can see here is quite a lot of offers, quite a few bids in terms of what you're looking at is these 1500 lots. Liquidity's dropped in stocks and so a lot of the prices are showing sort of three, four hundreds here. And what was then going on, if you see a lot, if you look at what trades compared to what's actually on the bid or offer, the amount that trades is reasonably low. So what you've got to be looking at is when you get these large offers in, this is it trying to imply that there's a weakness, that there's a lot of sellers in the market. So as this comes off and the offers keep coming down, what you've got to be thinking about is, is someone now using this as a chance to buy? And we'll see the resolution of this in a moment. These things don't sort of zip around necessarily. It's not always the fastest move, particularly in something like Euro stocks, which is quite a steady moving market. So what you've got to be looking at is what's actually trading. So far, we've not been trading a great deal at 13. It's 193, but the prices, isn't, the prices aren't really moving. So what we've got to be watching for now is if we do get some movement, do we get absorption on the move down? Do we get the market floating through prices? So currently sitting there, we've traded 300 into 13s. There we go, offered. Trades into 12, a little bit up. There we go, 400 trades into 12s. Big offer comes in. So now we've got offers all the way up here. And that 2,500 pulled very quick. So we traded 400 into 12, 400 into 11. So 400, 400. We now traded 700 into 11 and the offers are still all there. Offers are still pushing down. So this is the point where you're thinking possibly this is getting spoofed. So if you're looking to buy this, ideally you'd be trying to get filled at 10s and what you're looking for is these offers to get pulled to give you an out. What you're watching for here is the amount of trades out. We traded nine into that thousand on, it disappeared. 200 into the next one, it disappeared. So none of this is actually real. So effectively they've just pulled all those offers that made the market look weak and the market then ticks up because everyone who sold it thinking the market was weak there is now realizing they're completely wrong in that and they get driven out. <coughs> All of the offers have now migrated higher, and as this moves up, these offers still continue to diminish. So this has been a very light move up. Not a great deal traded on the move, but that's predominantly because people have pulled their positions. Now you're getting the bids coming in, and this potentially is whoever's been buying it, trying to get themselves out. They use the large orders to try and push themselves out. This potentially can give you a chance at a short they may well be now trying to get themselves short here as well to then try and get out once more. So it's a relatively quick move. Now you see all the size coming back in, trying to push the market up and then we start to turn it back over and this then is this move up here, quick up, rotates back and then we start to trade in this range higher. But all of this is all down to one person, or potentially a couple of people, getting the market to look weak, 
only to pull all of that weakness and the market then goes back up. It's trapping people one way and then drives them out the other and that allows people to get out or allows them out of their position. So it is illegal, but it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. You can trade off it. And that's a you know, prime example of a spoofing type move. You don't always see it, you don't often see it. It's all about working out what's actually happening. Right, quick look at gold. And player of the week here, 